Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now, my portfolio is worth $87,116.47. Today, I was up $495.80 during the day, and after hours, I am up $240.21. Let's go over my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon, $185 covered calls. These expire on 419. Total return $129. I'm selling Disney $120 covered calls. These expire on 419. My total return, I am down $93. I'm selling a Google $145 covered call. This expires on 419. My total return. I am down $439. I'm selling LUV $30 covered calls. These expire $419. My total return, I'm flat at zero. I'm selling PayPal $60 covered calls. These expire $419. My total return, I am down $406. I'm selling SoFi $9 covered calls. These expire $419. My total return $960. I'm selling Verizon $42 covered calls. These expire $419. My total return $106. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $178.58. My average cost, $98.95. Total return, $23,892.62. I have 6,000 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $7.46. My average cost, $5.62. Total return, $11,020.80. I have 300 shares of Disney. Disney is at $116.65. My average cost, $60. Total return, $16,995. I have 100 shares of Google. Google is at $147.71. My average cost, $142.48. Total return, $523. I have 500 shares of LUV. LUV is at $28.65. My average cost, $28.03. Total return, $310. I have 200 shares of PayPal. PayPal is at $66.42. My average cost, $57.70. Total return, $1,744. And lastly, I have 200 shares of Verizon. Verizon is at $40.40. My average cost, $39.31. Total return, $218.10. For my buying power, I have $3,973.13. Something that I want to do is change my Google covered call. Right now, I chose the $145 strike price. However, Google is above that. It's at 147. So I'm thinking maybe changing it to around 160, maybe somewhere around there. PayPal. It's in the same situation. However, I'm not really that eager to roll this one out. I chose the $60 strike price for PayPal right now. PayPal is at 66. But to be honest, like I said, I'm not too eager to um, roll those out just because I already have another fintech stock in my portfolio, which is SoFi. Other than that, there's really not much else to report. I'll keep on making updates and let you guys know if anything big happens. But for now, that's it for this portfolio update. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.